welcome to Farming Simulator 2013. This is the Rude Man, and we're playing on the Idaho map. And this uh, is not the Idaho map that I do my Let's Plays on. This is a, a second map that I uh, play with and uh, just have fun with and do my experimentations and all that kind of stuff on. But recently I had a subscriber ask me for uh, help on setting up courses for picking up straw and hay. And so I thought I would show you how I do it. And uh, what I've decided to do is I'm using uh, equipment, obviously in my Let's Plays, if you've seen any of them, um, you know I use a lot of modded equipment. In this case, I decided to just use the vanilla equipment so that uh, anybody can do this. Uh, the only caveat to that is I'm using course play. Uh, and that's what he wanted help with, was setting up course plate to do this. Uh, I do have to say that I have the developer's uh, build of course play, so it may not look like yours, um, but it should work the same in regular course play. Okay, so first I'm going to do straw, and then we'll move on to the grass. So what you want to do, and for me, I always get the biggest wind drawer I can find. Um, because I like the I like less rows <laughs> so uh, the first thing you do is you come into the field and you open up your piece of equipment and I do that because I want course play to know the width of the piece of equipment and it will determine that itself so we're gonna go into course play and in this case we're going to be doing the uh, field work so you click on field work right here and then we're going to go to your course generation so we're going to generate a course now this field happens to be field 11 and for this for course play to work uh, in course generation you have to own the field so we're going to go to field number 11 and now the working width is uh, default is three meters we're going to click on this little calculator and it's going to calculate the width of the piece of equipment that I just opened up and it calculated that at 19 meters now we're going to be looking for the starting corner so generally just take a look at your map we're starting field 11 on the northeast corner so we'll put northeast in as the starting corner we're going to start uh, working in the westerly direction again look at your map and you'll see which way you're facing we're facing west so we're gonna go west and I'm going to turn on the return to first point I'm gonna activate that because I want this um, equipment to go back to the starting corner when it's finished and there's another reason that I'm going to do that, and I'll show you that a little bit later. So that's all you do to generate this course. Uh, so we're ready to generate it. That's this button right down here. You click on that. That generates that course. And then you click on the little um, uh, disk icon. And we're going to save this as straw field 11. And now uh, we'll go ahead and start this course. Now, as you can see, there, when I started harvesting this field, I forgot to turn the uh, the chopper off. So there's a there isn't any straw in the first part of this, but that's okay. The concept is still going to work. So you just line up to your course, and we're going to go back and drive the course. and it's all automatic from here okay so this is now going to windrow this uh, straw for us okay I'm gonna let this tractor do its thing now once you've got your field windrowed we're gonna set up a second course for actually picking up the straw when we set up the windrowing course, we had the course set up to where 
when the windrower was finished, the equipment would automatically come back to this corner. So what it's going to do is it's going to be coming from that other side of the field and it's going to travel all the way over here to this corner because this is where we started. And it's going to come in like this. And it'll come to the start point and it'll stop right there. Okay? So what I like to do to set up the second course to actually pick the straw up is I like to come into the field and come around to that starting point like right here and I'm gonna start a second course okay so I'm gonna start let's see we'll start it right about there uh, like this one is going to be a driver helper course now on the old versions of course play it'll actually say driver helper on this one it's this one that's grain transport load and start so this is the one we're going to use is the one up in the upper left corner and we're going to um, start the course recording and then we're going to drive the course and what we're going to do is we're going to take this forage wagon and we're going to create a course that takes us to the silo, uh, silo or the bunker or wherever it is that you want this um, straw to go to so in this case I'm taking it back to my main farm and as you come around the corner I have to try to line up underneath the uh, the straw conveyor to get close enough to that tip point that we can unload this straw let me see how we do here and if I'm lucky I hit that tip point find out when we get straw and we'll continue back onto the field and I'm gonna go around and come back to the start point of this from this angle here <clears throat> and I'm gonna stop it right about there Okay, so I'm going to name that straw, let's see, straw to farm field 11. Now that we have those two courses set up, we're going to combine them and we're going to pick up our straw. Now, first of all, you need to make sure that there is no course uh, selected. If there is, reset it and we're going to go to the first course we made which was uh, the windrowing course which we called straw field 11 so we're going to open that course up straw to field 11 we're going to open that up and we need to make sure two things one that it's on field work and two that we have we need to make sure that this return to first point on the course generation is activated we're going to combine the second course that we made which is the straw to farm course we're going to select that one if you notice down here we have course we have two combined courses put that you know in one so it took those two courses and combined them so what will happen now is this rig, if it works cor correctly, will run out into the field and run up and down picking up straw. When it gets full, it's going to return to this corner. That's why it was important that we activated that. And then when it does, it's going to pick up this second course, which is going to run it to the farm, empty the rig, bring it back to this corner, and start where we left off. Now, let's, hopefully if we did everything correctly, that's what will happen. We need to we need to line it up with the starting point right there. 
of the first course and drive the course. Now as our equipment is picking up the straw, I need to point out that we are using the same course that we made to windrow. We're using that same course to pick up the straw because what it does is we already have that course generated and, and this tractor is going to follow that course. So that's why it knows where the windrow is because it's following the course that we set up for the windrower. So you don't have to mess with the width of the uh, forage wagon or anything like that. It's just going to follow that course that we made with the windrower. So we're using the same course. So I called it straw. I didn't call it windrowing. I, I called it straw field 11. And that's what we used to run the windrower. And then we used the same course, straw field 11, to actually pick it up with the forage wagon. So I'm going to let this thing run when we come back. Uh, we'll, when it, we'll come back to it when it's full and see what happens. And we're at 90%. We're at 100% and it's heading right for that start corner, just like we wanted it to. When it reaches that start corner, it should then pick up the second course, which is the course that will run it to the farm and dump it. And now it's picking up the second course. And off it goes to the farm. The only thing I'd like to add at this point on uh, this part of the course, sometimes you kind of have to work a little bit at getting to that pickup point because you've got, you know, different things may be stored. Uh, and sometimes the pickup points aren't right at the same location. So sometimes you just kind of have to tweak, you know, where the pickup point is. It happened to find this pickup point pretty easy they're not always this easy like I say I have the on the other farm on this map the pickup point for the uh, is in further and it's really hard to hit so usually if I do my straw and grass I I just bring it to this farm because the pickup points are easy to find and then he heads back out and he should when we get there, uh, you should see that he will go to that starting corner. Remember where he stopped picking up straw and drive directly towards it. It's pretty slick. It's a good way to do it because you can hire somebody to do this for you. And they'll pick up all your straw. One of the, one of the things about straw in the past, before I started using course play to do it, was it was quite the chore. And... It doesn't sell for a, a ton of money. Uh, you do use it for making silage and for bedding for the uh, cattle. So it is usable. It doesn't sell for a lot, but you make a lot of it. And so I always would just, you know, I would, I would get enough straw for bedding for my cattle and to make silage. And if I had enough for that, then I would just plow it under. I wouldn't collect it because it was such a chore 
to go out there and go up and down the fields and then drive it to the farm uh, to, to store it. For what money it was worth, it was kind of a, a big chore. Well, now that you can set up this course play like this, you can just send them out to the field, walk away, go do something else, and they'll collect all the straw for you. And if you have more than you need for bedding and silage, you just take it to a sell point and sell it. All right, so he's finding the start point. And he should head right back out in the field where he left off. And he'll keep he'll keep going till he's done with his field. And there you are. That's how to pick up straw. Now let's take a look what we do for mowing grass. On my Let's Plays, if you notice, I use that great big uh, coon, which um, I call the Starship Enterprise, because that's kind of what it looks like. But we're going to use just uh, regular equipment for this. And again, the first thing you do is to extend your equipment out so that it knows the width that it's working with. And we're going to set up a course just like we did with the straw. And with the equipment extended, we will set up the course. So again, it's going to be a field work course. So that's this one down here. And again, we're going to go to the course generation page. Now, in this case, this is field number 27. So we'll go up to field 27. And the working width automatically sets at 3 meters. We're going to hit this little calculator. And it calculates the width of the biggest piece of equipment, which is this mower in the rear. It's 8.9 meters. The starting corner, we're going to look at our map. And we're in field number 27, so in this case, the starting corner is northwest. So we'll select northwest. And we're going to be mowing in the easterly direction, so we're going east. And again, we want to activate this return to first point. Generate the course down here. And now we are going to save the course. Okay, I'm going to call it Mo Field 27. And we'll save that course. And there it is. When it's done, I'm going to again. Retract the equipment. Turn off the map. I don't need it any longer. And we're going to the start of the course, which is right here. And we'll start mowing. Drive the course. There it goes. And again, we'll wait for it to do its job. And when we come back, we'll continue on with... Uh, how to pick this stuff up. Yeah, it looks like the field has been mowed. We'll put this thing away. And this is going to work exactly the same way. You just want to set up a course for wind drawing and drive the course. It's a trigger point, opens up the equipment and takes off. And there he goes.
Now, I will probably mention this more than once, but when you're doing grass versus straw, there's an, um, obviously, it, it's basically exactly the same. The only difference is you have to mow the grass first, where with the straw, your combine has created it. So while you're harvesting, it's created the straw. All right, we'll be back when this is uh, finished windrowing. Now, like we did in the straw, we have two courses made. One to actually pick up the grass in the field. The second one to deliver it to the farm and return back. And if we did everything correctly, it should work just like it did in the straw. Now, while we're waiting for this to load, I'll go over and show you the difference between using uh, a normal uh, cheap set of mowers and the uh, Krone, the big mower that I call the uh, Star Trek Enterprise. There is a difference. Let me show you what that is, and we'll be back to this one. Remember when I talked about the Starship Enterprise? That's what I call this uh, Krone. I think I called it a Coon. It's a Krone. Uh, the I wanted to show you this because, of course, it's a bigger piece of equipment. But the important part is, if if we, and I already have a course set up for this, but if you watch how this thing works, let's get it started. This would be the difference between using the small mowers and this piece of equipment. I'm going to go ahead and start this one going. It's going to run this course. But what I want you to see is how this particular piece of equipment works. The regular mowers that I used uh, just mow the grass. They don't windrow it. This one not only mows, but it also creates its own windrow. So if you're using this piece of equipment, you can eliminate one of the courses. You would create this course and use it in combination with your forage wagon course to take the grass to the um, storage point. Uh, because this makes its own windrow, you don't need to run a windrower behind it. With the, with the other way, when we just used the small equipment, we had to mow the field, then we had to windrow it, then we had to pick it up. In this case, all you have to do is mow the course and pick it up. So it eliminates one of the uh, courses for you. And so that's kind of why I wanted to show you this piece of equipment, because this is what I use. Actually, I use a modded uh, version of this that's uh, actually wider than this. So, uh, yep, so that's it for this one. If you're using this piece of equipment, it's really easy, because it, like I say, it's, if you notice, it does its own window. And this is what I meant by uh, the vanilla equipment here. Well, that, uh, that other crone is vanilla, too, that I'm using. There's no windrow. It's just mowing. So we're going to have to come through on this field with a windrower uh, before we can actually pick it up with the forage wagon. Right? 98, 99, 100. All right, and he's off to our start corner. That's a good sign. Stop here, should look for the other course, the second course, and if it found it, and it looks like it did, it's off to the farm. And we will meet him there. And there it goes. It's working. And just checking up on the straw, as you can see, he's worked most of the field. He's still working. We have done absolutely nothing since we've created those uh, courses, manually that is. 
there, he's doing all the work. There he goes. And that's how it's done. Combining two courses is quite the time saver for you. You can let these guys work, get, get all that work done, and you don't even have to set foot in the field. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, give me a like. If you really liked it, give me a subscribe. Come and watch some of my Let's Plays. In the meantime, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.